do with them? Where are they? I don't have them, man. I left the stick at the Dendra up at Makeout Point. He'll pick it up soon, and then it's done. No proof, nothing. Who's coming for it? Tell me who's coming for it. My boss, Declan. His name is Declan. Declan? Yeah, the cop. You know him, everyone knows him. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. Two roads, and you can only take one. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Throwing a rock at his head could disorient him. Declan might continue going after Anna. If Declan goes after Anna, my best move is to strike from the right. We're doing well. I have to stay one step ahead of Declan and it won't get him. I could rush him and try and take his gun out of the equation. If I can get close enough, I can stop Declan from using his gun. It's definitely risky. Drop your gun, Declan. Ah! Anna! Hello? A woman has been shot. I need an ambulance. Just hurry! I'm fine. Don't worry. Anna, I'm... Anna, please! Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. You heard the news today? The local cop who died in that fatal shooting last week is apparently the head of a small opioid ring right here in Basswood. Crazy. It's believed he used his position to bring in drugs from all over the county and that he murdered two people in an attempted cover-up. Good news, however. The journalist who was wounded while confronting the rogue cop was released from the hospital today. I'm gonna get myself together. I've spent enough time moping. I'm glad to hear that. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. 
I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. Just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> you may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. It really bolstered the common good. Be proud. that before. Common, common, good. Common, 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 good, common, common, good shit, right? We know what she'll say. Oh, no. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't, don't understand. understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way! Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. Amen. Good. Amen. Good. Amen. Good. Young man, is everything all right? I was lost in thought, and I've been lost in thought a lot lately. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sure you have a lot to think about. Nick never put it together. He was too close. It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Now, that is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. Kathy has to have the specifics. She's nervous and probably scared. But your trigger man is gone. Do you think she'll stay scared? Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted. What they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? I'm here now. My sleeves are rolled up and I'm getting to work. I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joe. Don't you threaten them. I would never. But you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Just say whatever lies you think will save you. Very well. If you insist. 
A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father. Both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is, who profits? Criminals? Mobsters? Lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. It doesn't matter what lies you tell. I knew who Nick really was. Admirable, if misguided. People rarely show their friends who they really are. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise, Kathy, Joe and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribes, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. You can do whatever you want. I'm gonna finish what Nick started. Maybe you'll go to jail, maybe not. But people will know what you did. And they'll all know the common good never factored in. You did it all for yourself. And I'll make sure the life you've built burns for it. Learn from your mistakes. Fine. I'll keep your dirty little secret. Just know, I'll be keeping tabs on you. If I ever hear Kathy, Joan, or Joe want for anything... Never. Kathy will get a raise, college for Joan, and Joe won't miss another medical payment ever again. As long as you keep your word, I will care for them like I do for this town. Don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. all you could. I'm, I'm glad she wasn't alone. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. Anna did what she thought was right. She made a difference. The town's better for it. The town can go to hell. I miss her. I miss her. And, uh... And I don't think I have anything else. I think you managed to give voice to the feelings of many of us here. Do you mind if I speak a little? I didn't know her as well as most of you. Of course, of course. 
Anyone can speak if they want to. I only knew Anna for a few years. But within that short time, she impressed me with her strength. She understood what really mattered wasn't herself, but something greater. The community around her, her friends, her loved ones. She was a true defender of the common good. The kind of person who's always looking after whoever is standing next to her. She was fearless. You only needed to look her in the eyes for a few seconds. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. 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 It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Now the way, now the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joe. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. Best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. Like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Compromising was never her way. She was ready to pay the ultimate price if it meant getting the truth out. Because Basswood meant more to her than her own life. We will honor her memory by keeping what she fought for. This community together. It's the least she deserves. There's drugs in them hills. That would have been Nick's title for this article. He would have started with a self-deprecating tirade about how he couldn't resist the joke. It would have been a good opening. He never wrote that article. It would have been about greed, drugs, and lies. Nick was found dead on the side of the road. It was called an accident. It wasn't. 